This is a quick introduction about what CD Finder does and how to use it. CD Finder is a digital asset management tool. Aha! Uh -huh. What that really means is that CD Finder knows where all your files are. Digital photos, movies, song files, documents and so on. You say, well, that is what Spotlight is doing. Right, but what about the files on external disks? As soon as you disconnect or unmount a disk from your Mac, Spotlight forgets about it immediately. But CD Finder remembers. So CD Finder is meant for your disk library, your archive and backup disks. And don't let the name CD Finder fool you. This mighty software catalogs everything that you can hook up to your Mac. Hard disks, server volumes, iPods, USB sticks, CDs, DVDs and much more. Here is an example. You need to find a song named Give a Little Bit by Roger Hodgson, formerly Supertramp. You can simply type that name into the quick find field, hit return and voila, here are the results. Of course, there are also some non-song files here, non -song. <laughs> because CD Finder will search each and every piece of information it got for that name. Now, it would be very cool if you could ask CD Finder only to show you song files with Give a Little Bit as the title. So, we have a special find window. And maybe even just songs from Roger Hodgson as the artist, omitting all the tracks that he did with Supertramp. Here we go. Kind is song, audio artist contains Roger Hodgson, audio title contains Give a Little Bit. And here you go. It's that simple. The cool inspector window here shows you all the details that CD Finder knows about every selected item also including all metadata. And music isn't the only part in which CD Finder excels. What about photos? You'll get an entire set of powerful search options, including all EXIF and IPTC tags, of course. How about movies? Sure, it's all there for you. Beautiful. <laughs> so, how does CD Finder work its magic? You need to let CD Finder catalog every one of your disks once. CD Finder will quickly gather information about every item on the disk and a lot of additional metadata that makes it easier for you to find your stuff later. And before you start cataloging, you really want to have a look at the CD Finder preferences and especially the cataloging section. All these settings here greatly influence the cataloging speed, but of course also the amount of data that CD Finder has available to find your stuff. Okay, then catalog your disks. One by one. Simply drag it in whoop, and CD Finder will catalog it. Chip. Done. Or if you have an entire stack of disks, you can use the batch cataloging and feed the disks and let CD Finder catalog and then eject them for you. Very easy. What can you do if you have changed some files on a catalog disk? Well, simply let CD Finder update its catalog Select the catalog in CD Finder and use the update catalog command. Then CD Finder will quickly go over the disk and pick up the changes. That is really simple. So this was just an introduction. CD Finder can do so much more for you. We have more video tutorials for you, an excellent user's guide for those who still read, and other cool resources found in the help menu of CD Finder. And now enjoy this amazing library manager.